both New York City and the state initiate efforts to make it easier to get a COVID vaccine. It comes as the CDC and FDA hold an emergency meeting focused on the Johnson & Johnson vaccine pause. CBS News' Natalie Dedrich reports. Convenience matters to New Yorkers. Effective immediately, Mayor de Blasio announced all city-run vaccine sites will allow walk-ins for all ages. Even residents' restrictions are now lifted. You can get the shot in any borough. Anybody who can get vaccinated, please do it. As for the 16 mass state-run sites, if you're 60 plus, no appointment needed. You can walk right in, including here at the Javits Center. She is over 60. It was hard. The website kept crashing down. Health officials are trying to keep the vaccination rates up as hesitancy continues, especially as health officials investigate the death of an Oregon woman in her 50s who developed a rare blood clot within two weeks of receiving the J&J &J shot. Medical contributor David Agus spoke on CBS this morning, saying the chance Chances of complications are extremely low. And we're seeing this at a rate of about one in a million. So once we start to get in the millions and tens of millions, rare side effects happen. Hopefully there won't be serious problems from the vaccine, but the vaccine are saving millions of lives. Sources tell CBS News the federal government is expected to lift its pause on the J and J shot, but a warning label will be required. New Yorkers are mixed. A personal friend, co-worker of mine, his daughter took the the, the, the Johnson and Johnson. She was in a hospital for two days. It makes sense to be hesitant, but if it's brought back out again, I would feel comfortable taking it. Still, vaccinations are stagnating in several states. Vaccine supply is even outpacing demand. A number of mass vaccination sites in Texas are closing, and more than half of the counties in Kansas have turned down vaccine shipments because they'll go unused. Health officials stress getting the shot is the only way to control this disease. Officials say the CDC is considering revising the guidance on masks in the coming weeks, particularly outdoors and for those who have been vaccinated. On the west side, Natalie Dutteridge, CBS 2 News. And for updates on today's emergency meeting and more information on the coronavirus vaccines, you can go to our website, cbsnewyork.com.